Story time, y'all. This is my very first story time on YouTube, and let's see how I do. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back. I'm your girl, Matilda, of course, from Quacha Tribe, and you know what we're about all about financial literacy and leveling up to grow and so that we can make the type of life that we want. Now, in today's video, like I mentioned earlier, it's my very first story time. I wanted to share this experience with you. One of the benefits I actually got from budgeting. A number of you have so many stories you can share about the benefits of budgeting, but I wanted to just, you know, bring out this one story for me because it kind of like stood out because there was a lot of firsts with it. Now, there's so many benefits we can give about budgeting. It's an amazing culture to have. But one thing, of course, that we know is that it's got like, it requires commitment, right? You have to check on it on a regular basis, see that you're on course, see that everything's happening the way it should be. I dare say it's almost like a relationship, though I know it's not a relationship, we can't put those in the same boat, but there is a level of commitment required for both of them. And so that is why we say like, okay, you know, there's some effort required in budgeting. Anyway, this is what happened to me a couple of years back. Now, I got on to um, doing a particular project. I was working on a small building project. And in the beginning, I knew what I wanted and what I didn't want, right? The key thing is that I didn't want to start a building and then not complete it or build it for the next, what, five, four years, three years, two years, or nine months. I didn't want that. There were a lot of buildings that I saw that were not finished. And I saw people starting and they're doing the building slow thing. And I wasn't like up for that because I'm that person that says okay if I'm gonna do something I'm going to do it I'm going to invest give it my all and if it doesn't work then okay that's cool let's get on to the next thing so what I wanted was to try out the method of saying I commit to something then I do it and complete it and see what happens thereafter yeah so it was a small building project and side note for those of you that build houses or buildings there's a lot of respect that I have for you. Now when I see a building, I see a lot of work. It's not easy. So yeah, <laughs> that's a side note. Anyway, so I got onto this project. I was building a small structure. Yeah, anyway, a structure. And it was going to be my investment for that particular year. And so I knew that I wanted to plan for it, to budget for it, plan for it and execute it and finish it in good time so that I see what happens afterwards. So then I went on, I budgeted for this building project, the materials and got everything um, on paper before buying, of course. And then because I wanted to be able to know when I'm going to start getting back my money, like at what point would I have gotten back my investment and you know, all those things. I wanted to make sure that I really compared what I budgeted for and what was actually in the ground. So yes, you guessed it right. On top of um, budgeting, I had to make sure that tracking my expenses was key, which is also something about budgeting, right? And so I started tracking my expenses when I actually got on the ground. Whenever I would buy something, I put it down, of course, in relation with my budget and also I would make sure I wrote down even things as simple as transport costs, not simple, but transport costs or um, I get to town and I'm buying supplies or buying materials and I'm charged uh, parking for that. I took down, I took note of that. Everything that I could take note of, I did. And that was, that was very involving, by the way. And I made sure that I took down everything I could and Things are, things were expensive, yeah. Things were um, stressful. You know, when you're starting your first building project, there's a lot of, I forgot, oh, I didn't plan for this and things like that. So because it was my first one, I knew that when doing my budget, I had to leave a lot of cushioning money, like, you know, in case I haven't planned for something or I haven't seen something that needs to be on this budget. So I left, you know, some money there. Anyway, long story short, I completed the building. I tracked my expenses. By the end of this project, I knew exactly how much I spent for this project, right? And when I put down the number, I was like, okay, fine. So I'm expecting this amount of money um, from this investment. And when, now the question became, when will I get back my investment? And so because I was able to calculate every dime I spent, every way I spent, um, I was able to also say which year, which month 
I would have gotten back my investment. And so for me, that was really, really important. And it was a source of pride because I was now like, wow, you know, I can do this and um, I can, yes, part out with all this money and budget and everything, but just knowing, having that power, like, okay, I'm counting down to month so and so, and then I'm going to get back my money and it was really, really such a good feeling. You have no idea because I accomplished one thing. I did a post mortem or like a, a post, the word escapes me. I did an evaluation of the project and it was good, except for the stress during that period, but it was good. I finished in time. And at the end of it, I was able to project when I'll get back my money. And so from for me, from that project, I was able to see that, you know, budgeting is really good. And I hope that from this quick story, you're able to see that, number one, when we plan for our money, it reduces the amount of time we also spend on a project and helps us have a lot of control on um, what it is we want our project to look like. Number two is you're able to also predict in other um, areas of your investment. For example, if you want to know when you're going to get back your money, you can do that by having the complete cost of your project, right? When you know how much a project costs, you're able to estimate um, when you get back your money. Then the third thing, of course, is that because of that experience, I'm able to actually create even um, an even better budget for a similar project because I know the, the, the loops and the challenges that I went through and I would try to avoid them on this similar project. But the beauty was I managed to get what I want, which is start a project and finish it in good time without having to stress. And it's all because of budgeting. Budgeting gave me that power, that planning and it was, it was a good experience. And so for you who's not really convinced on budgeting, and most likely I would think it's because of the involvement, the commitment <laughs> with budgeting, but it is something that's worthwhile. It's something that you would want to look into. It's so beneficial. So thanks for watching.